Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a breakdown of Hemisphere's S631 and S321 Plus. I'm going to give you a breakdown of what exactly the difference is between the two and how that makes a difference to you in the field. So like I said in the intro, both these receivers appear to be very similar. I've got the Hemisphere S631 in my hands here. And when I look at the spec sheet for the S631 and I compare it to the S321 Plus, at a quick glance, they both appear to be very similar, especially when we're talking in terms of the constellations that they can track. Both receivers can track GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, Beidou, QZSS, and India's IRNSS. But although they can track the same constellations, they can't track the same signals, and that makes a big difference to you. So I'm just going to put up a list here. And you can see these are all the different signals that the S631 can track, and these are all the different signals that the S321 Plus can track. And you can see there's a big difference in the number of signals they can track. In short, the S631 can track three to five different frequencies across 66 different satellites, and the S321 Plus can only see two to three different frequencies across 36 different satellites. So you're almost getting double the satellites and almost double the frequencies as well. And this makes a big difference when you're under canopy, you're near buildings, anywhere where you can get different multipath environments or somewhere that you got low signals, so you're gonna have a hard time getting a fix. The S631 can track and use more signals than the S321 Plus in its RTK solution. And that, like that video, I'll link to it in the top right corner, that video where we took the two under canopy and compared the fix time, this is what makes the difference in that fix time. It's those different signals they can track. And now I'm just going to give you a breakdown of what those different signals are and uh, what the difference is on each constellation, just so you're better informed when you're looking to buy your next receiver. So the first constellation that we're going to take a look at is the American's GPS. And I'm sure all of you have heard of GPS, but you may not be aware that GPS is actually being upgraded right now. So since 2018, every year, the Americans have been putting up two new satellites for GPS, and we're going from GPS-2 to GPS-3, and what this is doing, uh, besides a whole host of things for the military obviously, is it's giving civilians access to a new signal, one of the most accurate that is available today, and that is GPS's L1C. So yes, the S321 Plus is still triple frequency, you can still see L1, L2, L3, but the S631 can see all of those as well as L1C, and L1C is a big deal because it helps you under canopy. This was specifically designed to help in low signal environments. And this is gonna help you get a fix faster, under canopy, near buildings, anything like that. Um, but that, that's all the, the difference you're gonna see between GPSs. There's not a huge difference, unlike some of the constellations later in this list. Next, the next constellation on my list is Russia's GLONASS. And traditionally, GLONASS is the lowest accuracy of the constellations available for civilian use. Um, but recently they've embarked on a program of upgrading that constellation and with that upgrade we finally get GLONASS uh, being brought into a triple frequency position. And this is a big deal for the S631 because the S321 Plus, which I'm holding here, can only see dual frequency on this. So with the introduction of L3OC, it's just another signal that again helps you in those low signal environments, it helps you under canopy, near buildings, anything like that. The S631 can use that extra GLONASS signal to get you a better result. Um, but again, much like GPS, there's, there's minor upgrades happening here, but this is, it, it just adds up. All these signals add up and help the 631 perform better than the 321 Plus. And that leads into my next constellation, the EU's Galileo. So Galileo was developed to help uh, correct all the other GNSS constellations, believe it or not. So it provides a lot of data on correcting their uh, clock biases and their orbit information but it still puts out a lot of signals that can be used by civilians. And the S321 Plus and the S631 can see a lot of those, but the S321 Plus has two signals that the S321 Plus cannot track. So the S631 and its RTK solution can use Galileo's E5 and E6C signals. And those again, much like I've been stressing again and again, and I've been hitting again and again, those help in those low signal environments, those multi-path environments that you're gonna have a difficulty getting a fix in traditionally. And this is leading me to the last constellation I wanna to talk to you about today, and that is China's Beidou constellation. So Beidou is arguably the biggest difference between the S321 Plus and the S631. And the difference is the S631 can see five signals that the 321 Plus cannot. And that's because China's going through the process of upgrading their constellation right now, going from their phase two to their phase three deployment. And the phase three satellites 
don't put out any signals that the S321 Plus can see. So this essentially means that as time passes on here, the S321 Plus is just not going to be able to use Beidou. So there's only five of those Phase 2 satellites left, and that's all the S321 Plus can see for Beidou. So in North America, this is almost eliminating Phase 2 um, satellites entirely, meaning we're already pretty much at the point when this can really only use GPS, GLONASS, and Galileo in North America. And that's a big deal, because a lot, the, Beidou is simply, it's the most accurate constellation available for civilian use on the market today. So when you lose access to those signals, that's a big, big loss. It's something that, uh, that, that arguably is what makes the biggest difference under Canopy. So that video I linked to earlier, that's why you see the longer fix times. That's why the S631 performs so much better. So again, those are the four constellations that you really have to care about in North America. The, uh, the other two I mentioned earlier, QZSS and IRNSS, those are really only uh, regionally deployed and we just don't see those here in North America. So when you're looking at buying a new receiver, you're looking at upgrading, or maybe you're just looking to get into this, those are the constellations you want to be looking at if you're planning on surveying in North America. And that's what's going to make the difference between your 6th generation RTK, which is my 321 Plus, and the 7th generation S631. And again, I'm just going to put up on my left here is my S321 Plus signals that I can see, and the S631 signals. And you can see there's just a huge, huge difference. Um, and and it's, frankly, it, it's night and day the difference between the two. And that's all for today's video. And if you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video, maybe you want to learn more about the 631 or the 321 Plus, and what pricing options are available for you, uh, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.